This video is part two of our Scotland adventure in our caterums. Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. We start today leaving the B&B that we stayed at called Dowryburn Cottage. I do apologise if I've said that wrong. It was a brilliant place to stay with good off-road parking and a great breakfast. Here is my breakfast and I even had some haggis as well because, well, we are in Scotland. What I forgot to do in the first video was show the mileage at the end of the day which was 28,592. The mileage done on the first day was 368 miles to get to this point. Today's trip is from the B&B to Inver Caravan Park, which is our accommodation for the night. We travel through the Caringorms National Park, spoiler alert, there's some great roads there, and also through Inverness to start the NC500 today. It's a lot of driving today, but luckily we had some brilliant weather and we stopped in a few scenic parking places. Best driving from today was definitely going through the Caringorms National Park. We started on the a93 called the old military road then the b976 for a little while and then on the a939 which was also called the old military road there were lots of good roads on this trip and i mean a lot today was the first day that i realized how long and good the roads were in scotland the best roads i've driven so far well or before this trip have definitely been in wales hands down and they are good don't get me wrong but the scottish roads just keep going on and on and on and just amazing scenery. Today I thought the scenery was great, but it definitely gets better further on in the trip when we get to the locks, I think. This is a mini series, so don't forget to subscribe if you want to know when the next video is out. We stopped in this lay-by for a while as the views were amazing and we got some drone footage. Watching the GoPro footage back it's good, but not as good as in real life. I know that's true for a lot of things, but the drone footage really helped capture the views I think. I'd love to get a decent drone at some point and well, I'll definitely put it on the would like list. quite funny because today I thought some of the roads were quite narrow and after being on this trip these roads were massive. Later on there's lots of single track roads which 
to be honest, were a little bit daunting at the start, but you definitely get used to them very quickly. We also stopped here because there were again some amazing views. As we had stopped for a few times today already, we thought we'd better get our heads down and get to the campsite. There was still a while to go and we also had to get our tent set up and cook dinner.
Here we are in Inverness where the NC500 officially starts. It probably sounds a bit silly for me to say this, but as soon as we got here, there were camper vans everywhere. When we were on the NC500, I would say the most common form of transport was either camper vans or motorbikes. This first part of the NC500 was nice being by the sea, but the east coast isn't as good as the west coast. You will see this later on in the other videos. A few people said to us, don't do the east coast, just do the west coast, but I wanted to do the NC500. It's been on my bucket list for a while now, and it seems silly coming all the way up here and only doing part of it. We arrived at Inver Caravan Park and put the tents up. I was going to film putting the tents up, but there were a few people here at the site and it didn't feel right. Someone asked me, what do you do with your caterums overnight? Well, I take the steering wheel off and the battery isolator. Then I put the half hood on and then the long nose shower cap and it looks like this. Both of these I've bought from Softbits for Sevens and I will leave a link in the description below. As I use Fern as my daily, when I park it at work for instance, this is what I do near enough whatever the weather. This is mainly because, well, we live in England and there's always a chance of rain. This was also the first time that I cooked my own dinner on a camping stove. I'm not used to camping, but I thought this was a good site. Everything was close by and it was nice to have an individual bathroom, for instance. It looked like it was going to rain tomorrow and, well, spoiler alert, it did. We had a long day driving as the finishing mileage today was 28,835. So we did 243 miles today. I think we were both pretty tired, so we had a, well, an early-ish night. I will leave you here in this video ready for part three. I hope you're enjoying this mini-series, and if you are, make sure that you are subscribed so you know when the next one will be. Thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe and all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.